the redevelopment of Port Cash Trees is officially underway. Nice. On April 30th, the St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority, SLASPA, transferred the management of its cruise port operations to Global Ports Holding, GPH. The government of St. Lucia and GPH finalized a historic concession agreement in 2023. Our presence here today would not have been possible without the collaborative support of key agencies who ensured that this agreement is mutually beneficial. The agreement will see GPH inject $135 million into the local economy. Port Castries and the Soufre waterfront will undergo transformational physical upgrades. GPH is the world's largest cruise port operator and the vast experience and expertise in this field bring an invaluable asset into our collaboration. SLASPA's confidence in this partnership is firmly rooted in GPH's proven track record, which aligns seamlessly with our commitment to enhancing the cruise products of St. Lucia. Together, we envision a significantly elevated experience for all visitors arriving by The berthing facilities at Point Seraphin in Castries will be expanded to accommodate Oasis-class cruise ships. Oasis-class cruise ships can carry more than 6,000 passengers. St. Lucia will soon be ready to welcome every one of them upon the completion of the upgrade works. GPH will make substantial investments to enhance the cruise passenger experience at Port Castries. The Vendors Arcade will undergo a major facelift while a new fisherman's village will be constructed at Banan in Castries. These developments will create several new job opportunities in the construction sector and boost employment in Castries and Sufre. And certainly on the side of the St. Lucian delegation, there was a very clear motivation why we were spending long hours going back and forth, um, you know, arguing, discussing simple meanings of words and whatnot. And it's because this government believes that the tourism industry must be restructured in a manner in which more St. Lucians can benefit from the tourism industry. The government's agreement with GPH ensures local service providers like taxi drivers and tour operators and small business owners like craft and dry goods vendors reap the full benefits of the anticipated increase in commercial activity at Port Castries and the Soufre waterfront. We are just a tenant. You know, we don't own the property, we don't own the birds, we don't own the buildings, we're just a tenant there. So who is our landlord? The government, Honorable Pierre and his cabinet. Who is the real owner of the assets are the people of San Lucia. So if the local people and the community is not happy of what we do or how do we operate, we're in deep trouble. There is no doubt about it. And I said the same thing for Bahama. And I'll never forget, I forgot my, which minister was. Uh, he basically said, for, for me to approve this deal as a minister, Although the PM and everybody was supporting us, you need a wow factor. Remember, I forgot which minister it was. So we made sure there was a wow factor. And Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister Pierre, I promised there'll be a wow factor here. GPH is the largest independent cruise port operator in the world. The company aims to increase cruise passenger arrivals in St. Lucia to 1 million visitors annually. The planned enhancements to the vendor's arcade and associated facilities will encourage cruise passengers to get off the ships and spend more money at locally owned businesses. This government always defends the interests of the people of St. Lucia. That's what we're about. We're very happy. We had tough negotiations. It went tough. We were up and down. He had to come to cabinet almost every, every Monday morning Asking me, asking me to do things. Up to yesterday, I had to sign something. Before I signed it, I had to read everything, literally read everything, because I wasn't signing anything that would cause the people of St. Lucia harm. 
I was not signing it. So I, I think that we had a very, we had very tough negotiations, but I think the end result would benefit the people of St. Lucia. <laughs> and this is all we ask from you, Chairman. All we ask of you is keep your promises. We need you to begin to do the work as soon as possible. Podcast trees and the Soufre waterfront remain state assets and have not been sold. Meanwhile, Slaspa retains full control over its cargo and ferry operations. Office of the Prime Minister.